Peace Tribe, here we are finally ready to present part two of our unassisted birth. I know it's been it's been a long time, <laughs> but here we are. I'm finally getting around to doing the final edits. So uh, real quick, I want to do a part three because I really want to go ahead and start talking about the whole delivering of the placenta and all the things that we did regarding the placenta, lotus birth, and all that. I'm going to do that in a part three because this is very important, especially with unassisted births or any type of home birth. You never see videos about how they deliver the placenta, which honestly goes into my next point. If you want to skip right ahead to the video, go ahead and check the timestamp below right now. But disclaimer, we did not record the actual birthing of the baby, nor the placenta. <laughs> it was The birth was so quick, it was so intimate, it was so perfect that honestly having a camera out was not at the priority list. So we do have a couple clips during the birth um, and a couple uh, shots, pictures. So throughout, you're going to hear me or I might pop up on the video explaining certain things that were transpiring during specific times. But for the most part, you're just going to get an overview of the vibes that um, was going on throughout our birth. And you're also going to get to see a little prequel to like when we found out we were pregnant and when I heard the, uh, the baby's heartbeat for the first time and all that. So get right into the video. Y'all enjoy this. Much love, peace and blessings and happy birthing. Talk to y'all soon. Babe, that shit clear as day. <laughs> about 11 to 10 weeks away from birth really probably less than 10 weeks but anyways I um, now am ready to start looking for pools because I've already been looking for them however like I had a birthing pool I bought which was really like a kitty pool that I used for my last home birth uh, and that thing popped the same day like after I gave birth that that was done so um, I was I looked into getting that same one however it sold out on Amazon it's really expensive on another website so I really I'm not trying to spend too much because again I'm just giving birth in the pool if it could last so the kids could play in it another time that would be great if not yeah, I don't want to spend, like, I spent 50 bucks on the last one and ended up popping once after one use. And, um, they do sell birthing pools, like, in the $80 to $200 that I'm sure are more durable. But, again, like, that's literally specifically for giving birth. And I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm not ready to drop that money on, down on that kind of pool. I just not. Because I don't plan on having no more babies. Do I look red? I look red. <laughs> like I 
if I'm blushing. I am not blushing. I need some light. Okay. What else? So now that I'm, I'm going to Walmart, grab a couple things, and I'm going to look at their pools, see what they got. I'm looking for specific dimensions, okay? Because my body needs to, I want my body to be immersed in the water because that's what's going to help soothe the contraction. I want, um, so I don't want it to be too shallow. So I'm looking into what they have and the dimensions. Like I don't want anything between. This is this is my dilemma. My last pool was 22 inches long or tall, and then I'm looking at the tub. The tub is about 12 inches high, and women give birth in their tubs all the time. So it's like, okay, do I does it really need to be 22 inches? Can it be a little less, like 20, 19, 18 inches? So it's like, damn, like I gotta do all this math figure that out but we're going there to do that and I'm thinking what else do I need for this birth because about that time start stacking up on birth supplies um I wanted to get a, a bowl from the Dollar Tree like a a salad bowl for the placenta because I'm you know when we transfer from the pool to the room I want to put the placenta somewhere like in a bowl um, from there, we're going to transfer to a bag where we're going to do lotus birth, and that's where we are going to preserve it with herbs and stuff until the umbilical cord falls off completely by itself. So I was, you know, I'm in that, that mode, that prep mode, and I want to go to the Dollar Tree and get that, and I'm trying to think, what else do I need? You know? <laughs> and it's just fun. And yeah, so that's, that's the journey right now I'm on. I got 10 weeks to get everything I need. Probably less. But I also want to buy ink because I'm trying to print my affirmations. I want my affirmation printed on my wall. <sighs> There's things I gotta do. And you know what is beautiful about like my mind being on it now is tomorrow's the new moon, which happens to be on my birthday. Hello, happy birthday to me. <laughs> And new moon is a great time for you to set your intentions. And boom, like that's what I'm going to do tonight. Set my intentions for what I want for this birth. And you know what? I need to go and tell everybody to do that for themselves. If you're pregnant, you need to set your intentions on the new moon. Because it's a great time. And it helps you kind of initiate and get that started. Like my mind's already on go, ready to do that. So what a better way than to write it down and have it there. As a witness and you know a testament to what you are going to do for yourself
part of our setup, we've got some gloves. We're gonna be using this bulb syringe in case we need to suck any water out of his mouth. Measuring tape. A stethoscope. A couple things to keep him dry to get out the water. And so we're gonna put the placenta after I deliver it. Um, in the meantime, get it clean, and then we're gonna put it in the placenta bag that Karen is bringing. That cute little guy over there, honey one for me at Dave and Buster's. He's so zenful. Got our pool, about to fill up with water. Got my affirmations. Which babe, I'm gonna need you to tell them to me. Got your man. Got my mans. It's a good one. Over here we got some washcloths. I want these. Um, what you do with these is soak them in water in case I get hot. Huh? Okay. I'm gonna go fill the pool. All right. Got our essential oil diffusers. Some body oil, lavender, and geranium from Urban Eden. Um. So yeah, these to keep me um, cool. If I get hot, we'll put them in water. Found this cute bamboo at the store the other day, so I had to get it. Then, my lights. Um, oh, let's go to the room. Oh, I also got this. This is a uh, hemp oil that I experimented with. And it's got like peppermint and some other oils. It's like really, really good for the skin. Like, I don't know, it's like tingly and I believe I put clove. So it's just, I know it's gonna help with massaging my back and my belly. Also this Arnica salve is also really good for sore muscles and all that. So I might start rubbing that on my belly soon. Thank you. Probably gonna use this water so I could drink a whole bunch of water. We also got a little birthday cake for him. Obviously, we'll be eating it. Some hydrogen peroxide in case um, blood spills on anything that might get stained. Chuck's pads. This is for Taryn. She doesn't know. Uh, more gloves, napkins, and zero. I have Chuck's packs ready, and I come over here ready to sit down. So there's no mess. I might. I feel like I should put more. His boppy pillow. One cute little diaper. Some a blanket and a swaddle blanket. I have some outfits picked out. The little one born at home. Um, so I'm just gonna have to decide. And then, this is the big daddy, real cool thing we got to weigh him out. The thing is we gotta open that later, cause I ain't about to do that right now. But this is how we're gonna measure him, uh, his, um, his weight. And having a surge right now. <sighs> yep, it's getting real. We're gonna weigh in, and we're weighing in that hands down. Relax. We are weighing in at 158.2. All right. Look at that mama. <laughs> Man, how mama. Go meet him soon. Yeah. Yes, we are, baby Z. We will meet you very soon, my son. <laughs> we are your parents. <laughs> It's now 1.27 a.m. Our daughter is up helping pour water over my back as I go through my surges. At this point, the water was still being filled, but I was ready to get in because it was getting intense. Of one, two. Don't be terribly selective, particularly say I should think of this and not of that. Just watch whatever is happening. Now then, to make this somewhat easier, 
to have the mind free from discursive verbal thinking. Sound I mean, or chanted sound is extremely useful. If you, for example, simply listen to the song. Be the whole of your experience. It's quite simple. It requires no effort. And then, along with that, especially if you don't have a problem, we can use what are called in the Sanskrit language mantra. Mantra are chanted sounds. Mama, so strong. Which are used not so much for their meaning as for the simple term. Am I so strong? And they go along with that easy kind of slow breath. Uh, one of the basic mantras is, of course, the sound home. And that sound is used because if you spell it out, A U M, it runs from the back of your throat to your lips. Therefore, it contains the whole range of the voice. And for so that reason, strong. it represents the total energy of the universe. This word is called the Tanava, the name for the ultimate reality for the which than which there is no richer. And so, in this way, then, it is chanted. So at this point, our friend Taryn had arrived and she was able to capture some of these photos of us going through the labor. We unfortunately didn't capture video, but this is hubby helping me, support me through the surges. It all happened rather quickly. I'm even smiling. In the mist, they gave me some of this mix that I made. It was a coconut sea moss icy type drink mixed with fruit. And it really got me going because honestly, I was going through a point where I was feeling really faint. And if you can see the poses I was in, this right here is Atabe. She is the goddess of water and fertility in the Taino tradition. And I had learned about her during my pregnancy, um, learned more about how the Tainos birthed. And that's something that I made sure to tap into during this birth. And our baby came out. It was beautiful. I'm going to be posting also how um, we set up the lotus birth. Okay. Let that baby dry. In the field. Hey, he feels it. I know he feels it. I definitely feel like a mess. He's yeah. so asleep. Look. <laughs> 